Welcome back. I'm here with April Zamudio, and she runs Rosie's Bake Shop. Good morning, and thank you so much for joining us Good this morning. morning. Thanks for having me. So you own Rosie's Bake Shop, and that actually used to be an actual um, place that you can go and visit, but it's not anymore. So talk a little bit about your bake shop first. Sure. So I started out baking at home, actually, um, doing custom orders for friends and family mm -hmm. just as they came in. Um, I used to be a graphic designer, so oh, that wow. was my full-time gig. Uh -huh. And I really realized that I love baking. Yeah. Um, and more and more people had more requests, so I was working from home, and then over the summer, I did open a small storefront. It was just a summer gig, but it was really fun, and it yeah. gave me, got my feet wet in what it's like to have a storefront. For sure. Now I'm back working at home, uh -huh. doing custom orders, and teaching lots of cookie decorating classes. And that is super cool, and I've seen all of your stuff on Instagram, and your cookies are just so pretty. I Thank guess you. having that graphic design um, element is really allowed you to be so creative on a different kind of canvas. Definitely. Um, having a background in art has really helped me be able to create sets, cookie mm -hmm. sets from scratch. Yeah. Um, but I've learned lots from the internet, lots oh, yeah. from YouTube, um, watched lots of tutorials and things like that, and that's how I got started. For sure. And how does one create something so pretty as these? I mean, you don't even want to eat them. They look so pretty. I feel like they just need to be set out for decoration. People do say that a lot. They say they're too pretty to eat. Yeah. And I I always say please eat them because I did spend time making on making them and they are tasty uh -huh. but ultimately it really just comes down to breaking it all down into steps mm -hmm. um, there are lots of steps that go into intricate cookie designs yeah. and so that's what I do in my classes I break it all down for people into simple steps and then all of a sudden you just have to trust the process right. because all of a sudden you have this beautiful cookie set that you didn't even know you were getting to right. because the steps are all broken apart. So. That is super cool. And so for the cookie classes that you have, I'm sure that these people probably don't know how to bake or, you know, make something as pretty as this. And they probably come out with such beautiful pieces. So I guess you don't have to be an artist to know how to do this. Not at all. I am always impressed with folks who come to my mm -hmm. classes. They're usually beginners. Yeah. Um, I do have some repeat um, participants, yeah. but generally it's people who have never decorated a cookie in their life. Mm -hmm. And so the way I break it down for them, it really helps them to understand the techniques and the yeah. tricks that I use. And then they can take that home and make cookies for their family and friends. That so, is super yeah. cool. And so you've brought um, a little demonstration here. So show me a little bit about how you might go about making a beautiful cookie like this. Sure. So I brought a couple of cookies here today um, just in a circle shape for mm -hmm. folks. They can do these designs at home very easily. You don't yeah. even need a cookie cutter. If you just have a glass or something yeah. like that, you can cut out your cookie dough. Um, and then I brought some royal icing as well. Mm -hmm. I use royal icing to decorate my cookies. You can get that um, pre-made in mm -hmm. stores if you don't want to make it yourself. But yeah. You can also make it very easily with powdered sugar and meringue powder and mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. um, and so today I just wanted to show you all a couple of designs that are very simple, yeah. very straightforward that folks can do at home. So sure. I can get started on Go that. Right ahead. Awesome. Let's see this masterpiece okay. come to life. <laughs> so for the first cookie, I want to create a little Christmas tree. So I'm going to start by outlining my cookie with my... Um, this is called flood consistency uh -huh. icing. And so what that means is that it's been watered down enough that it won't dry immediately. Royal icing does dry pretty quickly okay. whenever you use it. Mm -hmm. So there's a little need for speed. That's one of the skills that you'll build up as you decorate cookies. I've, you know, seen on TikTok, I've gotten to where my feed is just full of, um, you know, people who make cookies and uh, cakes, and I'm just mesmerized by mm -hmm. the process because it's so pretty how you can come up with something so beautiful. Yeah, the, I mean, that's how I got started was watching all of those videos. They are definitely mesmerizing. Oh, for sure. They'll suck you in. So, so now I'm going to take my green icing mm -hmm. and right on top of the white that's already wet, I'm just going to um, create sort of like a squiggly line. Yeah. And I'm going to go up the cookie and taper it so it comes to a point at the top, okay? Oh, that's so pretty, and that's super simple. Super simple, but then I do have another trick. So yeah. I'm gonna take my toothpick and very lightly just go right through the top oh my goodness. to kind of pull that green up yeah. and create almost like a trunk shape. So what would be great on this is you could add some sprinkles and um, you know, as like little ornaments to dress it up. So that's a super simple yeah. one. Um, another one I wanted to show you all today is a wreath that uh -huh. you have probably seen if you do watch a lot of videos. For this sure. is a common holiday 
cookie design. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing with my white, just making it simple for us so we don't have to make a bunch of different colors. Yeah. That can be pretty time consuming if you have to mix up a bunch of colors. And I feel like if you're a beginner, you should start small. Don't go, you know, so overboard. Just mm -hmm. get the basics down. Absolutely, yeah. Give yourself time to practice. Mm -hmm. So I wanna fill all that in and then I use my toothpick to just kind of swirl it around right. to get all those gaps filled in. This is super easy. I've always been so intimidated by trying to make something, you know, like this. I can make the cookie, but I can't make the pretty designs on mm -hmm. it. But now I feel like I could. Yeah, you definitely can. Um, so this is really a trust the process kind of design. Yeah. So it doesn't look like I'm doing anything special, right? I'm just doing little lines. They don't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna go all the way around with my green. And then I'll take my toothpick and I'm gonna very lightly run it oh, through. This is where the magic happens. It is, so I'm creating a wreath shape. Oh my gosh. And then I'll take my red icing and I'm just gonna give some little holly berries in little sets of three. Oh Wherever you want, however much you wanna do. Sure this one off to the camera while you're doing that. Look at that. So there it is. If you wanna point it to that camera, yep, perfect. So two super simple designs that you can do at home. That would be so easy yeah. to do at home. That is so cool. Well, April, that is awesome. Thank you so much for showing us that. Of course. How can people find out more information about you? Yeah, so I'm on Facebook and mm -hmm. Instagram. Rosie's Bake Shop is my handle on those. Yeah. Um, also, my website is rosiesbakeshop.com. That's shop with two P's and an E. Awesome. It's a little bit different. Um, but I teach cookie decorating classes mm -hmm. and, of course, custom orders as well. And all that information is on my website. That is awesome. Well, April, thank Thank you so much for joining us on The Breakfast Show, too. We'll be right back.